So it all comes down to the finals and the first bull into the ring, Australia's own Meadow, Robbie Madison. He's heading down the tunnel. He's gonna launch off one of the big ramps to get things going. Maddow starting it off with a big knack-knack backflip, throwing the leg way over the back of the seat. Nice job on the manual box. He's showing his technical skill to the judges. And Adams waiting in the rider's area. He's up next. The big Superman seat grab flip from Matto. Nate's not even watching what Madison's doing. He's just playing his own game. And Matto is just throwing that Honda upside down on almost every jump. Great run so far. The Mexican crowd seem to be into it. He's hitting the 45-foot popper ramps. Use, of course, is a very important dynamic in X Fighters competition. And that's a nice side saddle exit from the wall ride. Adams now heading out to the course. He comes up next. Madison winding down the two minutes of his run. Oh, and the side saddle lander on the flip for Madison. He does the can-can, puts the foot over one side, and he lands with his feet away from the brakes. So Maddo here with the seat grab Superman flip, beautifully extended, very smooth landing. And then this, the whipped out nine o'clock knack gives him an 84 point score from the judges. So Madison's run is in the books. The second guy up in the final, Nate Adams, the destroyer from the United States. And in traditional bullfighting tradition, he comes out and faces the Toreros. Oh, and look at Nate, he's trying to pump up this Mexican crowd. He learned that from Travis Pastrana. He knows that the crowd voice is very important in his final score. Huge lazy boy flip to start things off. Upside down, looking down at the Mexican dirt. Remember, Adams didn't even watch Madison. He's playing his own game. Well, looked like he tried the 360 there. Didn't really arc the thing around. Nate needs every trick to be smooth here tonight if he stands any chance of taking down Torres. And there's young Danny getting prepared in the rider's area. Oh, a huge holy grab, letting go of the bars, barely grabbing onto the back of the bike, and then a no-handed landing. A little Travis Pastrana-style lazy boy there off the popper ramp. Time winding down for Nate Adams here in Mexico City. Yeah, we feel the tension too. Adams heading into the 75 footer. No handed backflip to a one handed landing. He really has this Mexico City crowd pumped. The heel clicker flip. Travis, we miss you. But Travis will be back with us in the next three rounds of X Fighters. Nate ending it off with the Cordova backflip, pumping his hands. The white scarves are flying. Well, that was a great run for Nate Adams. Question is, will it be enough with Danny Torres coming up next? And take a look at this. The sidewinder or the running man completely off the bike and struggling to get back on. And this lazy flip gives him a 93.5 score, a huge score for Adams. Wow, Torres has big shoes to fill. This has to be the biggest night of this young Spaniard's career. Just two minutes between him and a Red Bull X Fighters Championship. He is no stranger to the bull ring. He hails from Spain. Oh, and look at this. Playing to the Mexican crowd. So Torres back on the bike. The suspense builds. Does he have what it takes to take down the destroyer? 
Whoa, big start. The cliffhanger to a no-hander landing and never even thinks about checking the bars. Unique start. He comes with both of the popper ramps. Now he's on the big dogs. Now the difference between Nate Adams and Danny Torres is that in that heel clicker flip, Torres actually clicks the heels together. Whoa! A huge, beautifully executed underflip from Danny Torres. This is a beautiful run so far from the Spaniard. Well, that's about as massive a Superman backflip as you will ever see. Of course, the levers on Danny Torres' bars, those extra little extensions, helping him not get ripped off the bike. A cool little view there from the judges stand, giving you the perspective of our five judges here tonight. Wow! The last jump of the evening for Torres. A Superman Indian Air backflip. That is absolutely huge. The Mexico City crowd is on their feet for Danny Torres. I would hate to be a judge here tonight. Look at this underflip perpendicular to the direction of travel. He is 90 degrees from where he started off. And this, the Indian Air Superman, that is one of the biggest tricks I've ever seen in freestyle. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, y'all. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the need his name up in lights he just wants to be heard whether it's the beat of the mic he feels so unlike everybody else alone in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him but fuck him he knows the code it's not about the salary it's all about reality and making some noise making a story making sure his click stays up that means when he puts it down talks picking it up less than 10 percent luck 20 percent skill 15 percent concentrated power of will five 